What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We're gonna see if we can turn this pile of parts into a nice relay panel today for Project Mark 1. Y'all stick around, we'll go through these parts in detail, show you what we got. Okay y'all, we got some parts laid out here on the bench here. We're gonna kind of give you an idea of what's going on here. What we got is a 12 circuit fuse block right there it ha also has a ground distribution block built into it we're going to run uh six relays on this panel which these relays come off of amazon they're already pre-fused it's a 30 amp relay so they have a built-in 30 amp fuse to the top of them so these will actually be double fused because they're going to receive power from the the fuse box there that fuse box also come, a lot of these parts come from Amazon. The fuse uh, the fuse box come with a bag of various fuses. It also has nice label sheets if you want to go through and label each one. This one's pretty neat because if you if it pops a fuse, it'll actually light up and show you that you have a blown fuse. <clears throat> with that, also got a main kill switch, which will probably mount near the back of the truck somewhere. For the negative side of the battery, I'm going to use this quick disconnect. You can just take that green knob off and it kills the ground to the whole truck. We have a 150 amp circuit breaker here. This is from Amazon as well. Just a resettable circuit breaker. The terminal strips, I actually got these from Lowe's. I forgot to order these when I was making my Amazon order, so I just went to Lowe's and grabbed them from the electrical department. Let's see, we got various connections, uh, battery terminal ends here. I had to pick me up a new torch because my other one had a leak on it. I also ordered this distribution block from Amazon. I don't know if we'll be using that in this project or not, but... It's pretty neat. It was only a few dollars and it came with the uh, the nice heat shrink connection there. I uh, also ordered some new, another new pack of heat shrink connections. It's always handy to have those. Uh, regular heat shrink tubing, pack of small zip ties, some electrical tape. Uh, some extra wire we got there in case we need some extra wire strippers and crimpers and then I uh, got this quarter inch loom we're gonna loom everything up with when we get done so let me uh get the whiteboard out here and I'll kind of draw you out a diagram what we going to try to achieve here okay I'm gonna see if I can explain this to y'all without confusing myself here it's a basic uh, diagram of a four pin relay right here. You have four pins. 85 will be your ground, which will go to chassis ground. 30, the 30 pin would be your 12 volt power fused. 86 would be the key or toggle switch, 12 volt. And then 87 will be the accessory. And this case be a fan that you're trying to power that's basically a, a breakdown of a four pin relay set up what we're going to do on this panel is i know there's only five of these here but there's supposed to be six we're going to mount six relays beside the fuse box it'll start with the uh, 150 amp breaker coming in the bottom It'll get power straight from the battery. So it'll be a, a 10 gauge or heavier wire coming straight to the uh, breaker. The breaker will have a small jumper wire that feeds power to the fuse panel. And then from there, the fuse panel has 12 different circuits that can be tapped into. At the top of the fuse box, it also has a ground distribution block. So for all six of these relays, we'll be receiving ground from the top of the fuse box. Just to keep it simple, I only drew the ground wire on this top one. 
but keeping in coordination with this diagram that I drew up here, I didn't have a red wire, so I mean a red marker, so we just use green. But on the relay, the, the green would be represented by the red wire. So the relay would see, receive power from the fuse box, also receive ground from the fuse box. So this fuse box will have a chassis ground to it. From there, you would have a white wire on your relay, which is represented by this purple line. That would be your tr trigger wire. This will be run to the terminal block. From the relay, you'll have a blue wire, which will be the accessory you're trying to power, fan, fuel pump, ignition, whatever the case might be. It'll also run to the terminal block. From there, you can either run a switch wire or this could be 12 volt key. When this wire sends power to the terminal strip, it completes the circuit in a relay, which in turn sends out 12 volts to the accessory that you're trying to power, which in this case will be a fan. The fan will receive a chassis ground at its local location. Hopefully that didn't confuse you too much. It might make more sense once we get it laid out here on the board. Okay, y'all. Uh, I got everything laid out that I'm going to need for the time being here. I'm probably going to have time lapse on this, but once I get it done, I'll come back through and break it down and show you and explain everything step by step of what's going on here. It's just going to take a while, so it'll probably be better off just to time lapse this. Y'all hang out for a little bit. Okay y'all, finally finished up there. That time lapse is getting to be pretty long so I just turned it off. If anybody's got any questions about this or needs help, just shoot me a message or drop me a comment. I'll be glad to help anybody out. It might look like a jumbled mess of wires right here, but really it's more ideal to have it this way. That way everything's located in one central spot. If there's a problem, you can come diagnose it pretty easy. So as we was talking about earlier, say if you wanted to run a fan off of this relay, or actually it'd be the third relay. If you wanted to run a fan off a toggle switch or either off of a switched key 12 volt source, you'd hook your uh, switch wire up here and then the power out to the fan would be on this one. Just to keep things a little simpler, I, since this is a eight block terminal, I skipped one in between each set, so everything would have a little extra room. It wouldn't be so jumbled up. But like I said, white wire is trigger wire. Blue wire would feed power to whatever accessory you're trying to run. And just down the line, white trigger wire, blue is a power source. battery cable for the breaker turned out pretty nice it's 150 amp rating on this on that breaker so if there's ever a problem in theory it should kick this breaker then every relay is a has a 30 amp built-in fuse on every relay but they'll also be receiving power from this fuse box which also be an extra layer of protection. I'll probably just run 30s in this, 30 amps in this whole row right here. And that leaves me six 
options to if you wanted to run something that didn't need a relay say a radio or something didn't pull much power you got six power outs right here and six more grounds at the top so that's that side pretty much wide open if you wanted to add anything to it but this video is going to be kind of long so i'm gonna wrap it up here y'all drop it in the comments let us know what you want to see we'll catch you on the next one